I'm CEO Foxtrot, and I'm here at Hanny's Bethel, which you guys probably know is UFO location number one in Red Dead Redemption 2. You guys are probably also familiar with the Mount Shan location, which is UFO location number two, which I'll explore these locations more later in this video. But there's some pretty compelling video footage on YouTube of a third UFO spawn location, which I wanted to explore with you guys today. The video that you're about to see in a moment was originally posted by LitDunker04, which I'll leave a link to that in the description below. Okay, let's take a look at this supposed third UFO location. This UFO appears to be spawning above Twinstack Pass in New Hanover, but what's incredible is it looks like someone's being abducted. Now here's the original video that was uploaded by LitDunker04. Again, I'll leave the link in the description below. I have to admit, this does look like real gameplay footage, but this person seems to be the only one who's witnessed it. But nonetheless, I personally set out to find the exact location and position shown during the UFO spawn in that video. And here, I believe, is the exact position, which I'll confirm in a minute. You can see my exact location in New Hanover on the map. And I am just southeast of Twinstack Pass, where the UFO was hovering. Okay, first off, let me confirm my position. In this split screen, you can see my position on the left and the original video position on the right. Here's the UFO's position, the bush in the distance, the moon lines up, and the mini-map's exactly the same. So, what I did was, I came to this location and sat in this position for seven nights in a row to see if I could get this UFO to spawn in. And I made sure to spawn the first two UFOs first, because the second UFO won't spawn unless you encounter the first UFO first, if that makes sense. So let's see what happens. So unfortunately, I couldn't get the UFO to spawn in, but it was rumored that the abduction left a body lying on top of one of the twin stacks. So let's head up there and see if that rumor's true. I'm pretty sure this is the spot of the UFO abduction beam, but I'm not seeing anything. It's probably not likely that the UFO was hovering over that twin stack, but it wouldn't be right if we didn't check that stack too. Let's head over there. I didn't see a body laying on this stack either, but I did find this loot box. Filled with cash and rum. So let's head over to Mount Shan. We're going to come over here to check on the second UFO location. I want to show you in the daytime first so you know the position of the encounter of the UFO. 
Keep in mind that you cannot encounter this UFO unless you encountered the first UFO at Hanny's Bethel. And also, this is the position of the panoramic map. This is the exact second UFO location on Mount Shan in West Elizabeth. The time I got here was about 1 a.m. It's still pretty amazing to see. Now just down the road from Mount Shan, you'll find a sundial made of stones. So we'll have to check that out before we move on to the first UFO location. So this Mount Shan sundial still remains a mystery to players, mainly because of the direction of these arrows. So let's take a closer look. So the first arrow casts the first morning shadow to the west at 6 a.m. And the following arrows are 9 a.m., 12 p.m., 1 p.m., 2 p.m., 3 p.m., 7 p.m., and the evening shadow fades at 8 p.m., pointing to Mount Shan. It's common in games for objects like this to cast a shadow in distant locations, revealing a message or a trigger of some sort. But this shadow seems to stay mostly within the rock base and arrows, except for in the early morning and late evening, which I'll show you in a minute. Here's the early morning distant shadow. And the late evening distant shadow. And they don't seem to reveal any message. Except for the shadow fading pointing directly to Mount Shan. Now although I only believe this yellow arrow symbolizes 12 noon, it does kind of point off to that big rock in the distance. And there you'll find a bedroll, a compass, and a pair of binoculars, some rum, and some ammunition. And since the bedroll, compass, and binoculars aren't interactive, I believe the yellow arrow simply symbolizes 12 noon. And here we are, back at the first UFO location, Hanny's Bethel. And to trigger this UFO event, you must first grab the mysterious sermon from the desk of the cult leader, which basically says that at 2 a.m. their souls will be leaving their bodies to hitchhike on an alien vessel to the promised realm, only to make a future return to Mount Shan for the new chosen one to begin worshiping again. So after you've gotten this sermon, return to this location at 2 a.m. And guess what?
to slow up, no I don't take shit, I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, all the 